Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the Time Lord Challenge. It's a brand new season, a brand new start and I'm so genuinely excited. If you haven't seen the last part, the Oracle regenerated, she got a new face and it isn't just her that's gone under some changes. I've redone pretty much everything, like the TARDIS has gotten a makeover, Kitty and Tyler have got makeovers, Akira's got a makeover, so without further ado, here is the brand new Oracle. Obviously we've seen her like sneak previews in like the last part and like in trailers I've released. Um, but here she is in her brand new outfit. She's got quite a few looks, can I just say. This is just one of many. Um, and she is going to be the more rambunctious, the more wild Oracle. Obviously the last Oracle was very stiff, upper-lipped, very sort of stern, a bit frosty when she first regenerated because she was grieving. Now she's kind of like let loose a little bit. Uh, let's just jump right into her aspiration that we'll be doing. It is the party animal aspiration. I see her as like the sort of like the, the rebellious phase teenage oracle almost. Like she's letting out all of that um, sort of angst and stuff and just rebelling and having fun and just letting loose. Hence the aspiration. Now her traits are, um, if I can find them, I always forget. They're down here, right? Yes. Okay. She is now a goofball. She's outgoing. And again, she's self-assured. She's always been self-assured, but now she's like especially self-assured. Um, and that is, that is it. We'll learn more about her as the series goes on, I'm sure, and as the episode goes on. I don't, like, bombard you with information. We'll just gradually sort of, you know, um, delve into it. As you can see behind her, the TARDIS has gotten bigger. I've replaced the door with something even bigger, even sturdier. The outside lot in general hasn't changed. I was thinking of doing it, but I was like, well, I don't want to overdo it and do too much. I mean... You know, the game itself can barely run the TARDIS on the inside, let alone if we had like a hole outside. I was going to make it a junkyard, as the comment suggested, but thought, you know what, no, I'll just keep it how it is for now. But the door has gotten bigger and bulkier, so if we delve in, again, you've probably seen like previews in like the trailers I've released, but the TARDIS has been made over completely, and I'm so in love with it, and I love how it's turned out. Oh, oh, hold on. Gotta go down the floor. There we go, I think, I think that's working now. Nope, one more floor. Oh, now we've gone into the stairs. This is, oh, I've already ruined it, but here we go. Here is, as you come in, the brand new TARDIS. I wanted it to be very urban and very sort of grungy to match the new Oracle. Um, because she herself is very sort of urban and grungy. I see her sort of like the queen of grunge and urban in that like, obviously she's a bit more wild than her past forms, but she still has that sense of like status and um, like, you know, she's not just... A basic hoe is what I'm trying to say. She's got she's got like a bit of um a star quality to her. But here we go. I'm gonna come out of the camera mode for a second just to get a better look at it. So like everything is more industrial. There's exposed pipes. There is bricks. There is so much. The console I wanted to look even more like tech. Um, you know, more computery. We've got this little like steering wheel here in memory of Maureen. In fact, why don't we turn these bad boys on? These should be on. Let's get these going. Like everything lights up and moves and beeps. Um, I should have put more on this side, but I think I forgot. But oh my god, is it so cool? Right, where should we go? Which way? Um, how about north, east, south, west? Um, west is best, but in this case, oh, east is least. We'll go actually. No, we'll go to the kitchen first. We'll see the kitchen. This camera is so slow. Um, we'll bump into Kitty and Tyler on the way. I'm sure. Uh, so there's the library down there. The library hasn't been touched all too much. So I'm going to probably ignore it for now. Go right into the kitchen. Ta-da. Um, I love this. It's like sort of like Big Brother when they like redo the house every season. Um, again, very sort of urban-y. Uh, here is the little dining room. Got some alcohol for the parties, of course. Um, little hallway into our photo studio. Still the same. Um, yeah, the library hasn't changed much because I just like how it is. I just changed the wallpaper. That is literally it. Everything else exactly the same. Um, oh, a little preview there. So this was previously like a little hallway into the library, like a little foyer. Now it's sort of like a lounge area because we never had a lounge. And like we could never watch TV. They always went to the karaoke um, screen to watch TV. But I've converted this here into a little lounge. Kitty is um, on the sofa. Got our paintings, of course. Atav, where are you? We're going to miss you, Atav. He's gone now. Uh... Yeah, nice and cosy. And a gaming system as well. Right, onwards into the... Oh, and out. Something's clearly glitching there. Onwards into the art studio. This is basically the same. Like the library, it just changed the wallpaper a little bit. Added some posters, that's pretty much it. 
into the gym. Oh, something else that's new, windows. I put some windows, we can like look. So the uh, the kitchen has some windows as well, if I go over to the kitchen. So they can always just peek into the console if they want to, have a look in. Um, but yeah, back this way. I uh, don't want to like, like give you any sneak previews of the Oracle's room just yet, but here's the gym. Again, basically the same. Bit more decorated, that's about it. Um, but if we go this way, into the Oracle's bedroom, oh, oh, you've seen it again in the trailer, but um, ta-da, oh, I, this took me so long, I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. Um, so, again, very urban, very street, got a bubble machine, got a lights, got a graffiti, whole lot of posters, whole lot of clutter. Um, these two flags here I thought were nice little nods to her previous self. So she was like the nerd brain, I think, was her first aspiration. So she has like this little sort of like nerdy flag and then the collector one represented by the sort of leaf sprouting. Um, got her old pictures, of course. Do we have any pictures of the second oracle? I think we took some when we went to Sunset Valley. I think they're in Kitty and Tyler's room. But here's a little bathroom. A little bathroom, I say. It's it's ginormous. It's massive. Um... Again, very colourful. Uh, should we go downstairs? I think that's everything up here. Yeah, that's everything. So we go downstairs. It's a bit more, like, party-friendly now. We've got some cool lights. We've got some bubble machines. Are they on? No, the bubble machines aren't on. Give me some bubbles. We'll just have a little preview of the bubbles. Maybe I'll turn them off just, just to save the frame rate in case the frame rate doesn't like it. Um. Oh. Comet wants to walk. Um, oh yeah, here's Tyler, by the way. I forgot. New outfits. Tyler is looking a little bit sexy, you're not gonna lie. I've I've given their faces tiny, tiny tweaks to make them look older. I imagine like a year has passed since they first met Oracle. They've been here for like an academic year. Um, so they're in the second year of university now. So both Tyler and Kitty, I've changed their faces a little bit to be a bit more grown up. Obviously, like hair has changed. Tyler's got a bit of like a, a five o'clock shadow now. Go walk, Comet! Um, pet care, go on walk, go for a medium walk, um, yeah, new outfits, looking groovy, so we got some, like, uh, bars for the party, uh, again, a whole lot of pipes, karaoke machines, DJ booths, everything, we're gonna have some lit parties here, the old Oracle was, like, you know, very closed off, wouldn't let anyone in her TARDIS, this Oracle is like, hell yeah, let's have a wicked cool party, um, let's trash the place, got some dance floors, just to, like, fill it up, I guess, um, bowling alley, Exactly the same. Again, change the wallpaper, that's it. Um, Atav's bedroom, locked off. Much like Maureen's, because I can't, I, I can't change it. I don't have the heart to just get rid of it. Um, I'll turn the lights off, though. Um, turn off this room. Because I don't want uh, paying the light bill for a room we're not even using. No, no. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, are you... Comet! We were giving you a walk and I just... Oh, he's so cute. Oh, and the camera has just zoomed right out into space. Um, where to next? I'm trying to think. Uh, oh yeah, down here. So, music room, literally exactly the same. Nothing has changed in the music room. Um, absolutely nothing. And we go down here to Kitty and Tyler's room and it has gotten a whole lot more cluttered. I wanted it to look very like university dorm-ish, um, like books everywhere posters stuff like that um i like how this girl in this picture here kind of looks like kitty but not quite it could be her sister i don't know maybe her mum as a, as a teen um but yeah very cluttered they've got a bathroom now they didn't have a bathroom before now they have an ensuite bathroom so they don't have to use the tarves i've uh, got this lovely picture from the last season and i think oh the lab uh lab just got a bit more uh stuff namely this I think that'll let us go to Sixum in case we ever want to go back to Sixum. Don't know why. And I gave her a gun. Will I regret that? Probably. But that's everything. She doesn't have the, the science skill to, I think, use any of it. As in, like, the scientist career skill. I don't know. I've never actually properly got into the scientist career and get to work. So, don't really know how to use it. So, um, probably won't. Just there for show. But I think that's literally everything. I'm trying to think. What haven't I... No, I think that's it. That is literally everything. So how do we jump right into it? It's quite late. And you know what I think? The Oracle's fun is quite low. And what will she find fun? A TARDIS warming party, of course. Uh, so why don't we... Oh, she doesn't even have many friends. Oh, Akira. Why don't we get Akira over here? Oh, no, we'll, we'll have a party. We'll invite him to the party. We'll see him there. But um, we'll plan a social event. 
Can they get in through these doors? I hope they can. Ew, Vlad is here. Why are you here? You're not invited. Get out. I'm trying to think. Can I hope they can get through that door. Uh, spooky party. Should we? Oh, it's fall. No, I think I think house party. Cause it is like a house party. We'll save the costume party for like the holiday itself. Host. Oracle. Kitty and Tyler, they can all host it. Guests. Oh, we don't know anyone. Oh, we've got to make friends. Oh. Maybe we'll just invite Akira around. We haven't seen him since regeneration. Don't know how he's feeling about us. Hasn't returned any of our calls, but he might give us a shot. Yeah, we've got to make some friends. And if we can't throw our own party, we might as well go clubbing then, I think. Uh, how are their needs looking? Pretty good, not going to lie. Um, and it'll also be a good chance to show off some of the Oracle's other outfits. So she has like this, this main overcoat one. She has a lot of jackets. Jackets are her thing. I gave her like the same outfit without a jacket, I think. Did I? She should have one like that's literally the same without a jacket. Maybe, maybe I forgot. She has this little fur coat with the uh, spots on it, which I love. Again, I wanted it to be like urban and street, but still have that like sort of, what's the word? Ele elevation? I don't know. What? She's not, you know, she's not, she's not supposed to be like a, a normal human. She is sort of above it all. So I wanted it to be like the queen of, you know, the street. Uh, that sounds like a prostitute, doesn't it? The queen of the street. Um, but you know. Still still look like she owns this place. Oh, and here's her camo jacket look. But I think I'm going to stick with her main one for now. Um, go for the big red overcoat. And let's head out to a sweet nightclub. We'll bring Kitty and Tyler along, of course. Our only friends. Maybe not Akira. We'll save um, that for later. Again, we have changed. He wasn't feeling it. But who knows? Where should we go? Delta Valley? No. Oh, no celebs. No, no. Can't, well, I'm not even going to begin to get into that. That's going to be a mess. Mini is famous and it is like a nightmare. Where should we go? I think the discotheque Pan Europa sounds pretty cool to me. In Windenburg, we'll bring our friends along, our only friends. Got to make some friends. I swear like she introduced herself to Bella Goth and all that, but I guess maybe... I guess we didn't maintain that friendship, so it was lost. We could always go back and get Charles and marry. Who knows? Or Maureen's ghost, Rip, or a Tav traveling the world, and it is um, raining, which is never good. Ooh, oh, lots of bold sims because of my um, hair CC that I deleted. Gonna quickly save. Never hurts to save before we get into the club itself. Hello. Oh, actually, one thing I want to do. Um, get her into, like, the, uh, what was it? What are they called? Party House? That club? And not only that, she needs to run Party House. She needs to be, like, the boss of Party House. For sure. Um, I imagine because like a lot of time has passed in this world, the members of Party House might be a bit old. Don't know how they're looking. Um, Oracle, he's behind you. Maybe Spin Masters. She can maybe get into Spin Masters if she tried. What is her charisma like? I feel like she could probably woo this guy. Three. That's not too bad. Um, compliment his outfit and then brighten his day, I guess. It's raining. We need to get in indoors before our outfit is ruined. <gasps> Celebrity! Ooh. So yeah, the Spin Masters are gathering, which is good, because I feel like she'd get on with them. Go say hi to all the Spin Masters. Yeah, they're all adults now. I think they were... Are they, are they supposed to be young adults when... No, actually, some of them are still young adults. I don't know. Uh, but let's just hit the floor. Actually, let's get some drinks. It's not a party without drinks, is it? Come on, let's order drinks for the group. What should we get? We're rich. What should we get? The most expensive thing, surely. Salty llamas. Ew. That's one way to like impress everyone in the club. Buy the most expensive drinks for everyone. Kitty, where are you going? Kitty, where are you going? I guess she's going the long way around. Oh, I see there's like a back door by here. Okay, sure. You do that. Who are you? Shingo. He's got a knife. Oh my god, got a knife in the club. Wait, watch out for him. I gotta uninstall that knife, CC. Why do I still have it? I still have it because of um, no survivors. When I was making the intro for that, I got a knife. Still haven't uninstalled it. Mortimer's here. Oh my god. So many important people. Are you, um, Diego? Yes. Um, what's your face? Wolfgang. Sorry, I've forgotten so many of the townies' names. I just hardly ever interact with them. 
Like, in the 100 Baby Challenge, it's only our kids, really. Most of the townies are dead. Not gonna lie. Pretty much they're all dead. Um, and even, like, the last Oracle was a shut-in, so she didn't mix any townies. But look at us making friends. Who are you? Izumi. With the white hair. I love it. Funny introduction. And Wolfgang Munch. Funny introduction. This Oracle is funny. She's extroverted, bombastic. The opposite of Oracle 2. Oracle 2 is all to herself. Frosty. You know, didn't like interacting with people, period. Wasn't a people person. This oracle is a people person. That looks like Phoenix Fish. Crystal Joiner. They're all getting so, like, hyped. It's because of celebrity, isn't it? Brittany Cho. Oh, last exception caught by MCCC. And it's, oh, haven't had that in a while. Um, have we finished our drinks? Come on, guys. I bought us expensive drinks for a reason. Grab your drinks. Who should we talk to? Is Mortimer still here? I want to get to know Mortimer. Oh. Oh, M Mortimer. Oh, I thought he was. I thought he was leaning in for a kiss. Then I'm like, Mortimer, you're a married man. No, just a harmless selfie. With this. Oh my God, she just did a backflip. Yes, Candy. Oh. Oh. A bit anticlimactic. She whacked herself. The Oracle Three wouldn't do that. Just saying. And Judith Ward is here. <gasps> We're already there! Akira's messaging us. I heard there's a great party going down in the nightclub. Okay, well, we're already here, so come join us! Okay, so I guess we're bridging that gap with Akira. Is that more? Maureen's go- <laughs> What are you doing? She is haunting us. The memories of Maureen is just... I guess still in the Oracle's mind. She still maybe isn't completely over it. Maybe she's compensating for those, like, emotions. By drinking and partying. I don't know. I thought she was over it. Maybe she's not over it. Um, either way, she's getting in there with Mortimer. Making some bougie friends. Um, she's not having much fun. Should we, should we dance? I feel like she's not going to be very good at a dance battle. Can we just have a normal dance? Um, where's the music? Turn on. Should we have some... Um, some pop, I guess. And let's just dance. Come on. She needs, she needs to raise her fun. No sign of Akira. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's hanging back outside. He's a bit, he's a bit unsure. He's like... He's, he, you know, he's like, I haven't seen her in a while. She's got a new face. Do I go in? He's smiling, though. Who knows? Uh, come on. Come on, Kitty. You've got to dance as well. Don't be a stick in the mud. We're all dancing. You too, Tyler. You too. Go on. Actually, can we get him in some party clothes? Um, what is your party wear, Tyler? I think I've given them all quite flashy outfits because they're going to be partying a lot. So I want them to have like sort of nice party clothes. Look at him with his, with his red jacket. And Kitty. What? Oh, I can't even remember. What was your party wear? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Little hippie chick. I like it. Um, the Oracle better be getting down. Oh, she is. She's sort of like a little bit left out. <gasps> Akira's here. Oh my god. Um, um, don't don't walk away from him. Give him a kiss. Come on, it's been a while. Come on, she's like she's she's getting away from him. No Oracle. Woman up. Go say hi to your man. Come on, they're sort of like avoiding each other. It's a bit awkward. Oh? Oh! <gasps> oh, the spark is still there. Granted, they're probably both a bit drunk. And this remix is sick. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, they're both flirty. They both, they both missed this. And the frame rate is died. Sexy pose. Is there a, is there a wardrobe downstairs? They can, they, there is. Because we did it in glam, didn't we? <gasps> Woohoo with Akira. Go on, you're both drunk. You both haven't seen each other in ages. I think Akira is digging it. Oh. He's a fan of this new body. I mean, don't get me wrong. He loved the old Oracle. But this new Oracle is also quite a looker. And alcohol does things to people. Oh, this is a very successful first meeting. I thought they would be, like, a bit awkward around each other. A bit unsure. But you know what? No. Couple of drinks. Flashing lights. 
and it's back to the same old shenanigans. They haven't done it before either, did they? So th this is like their proper first woohoo together. This is a big deal. Um, her fun is going to skyrocket. Kitty and Tyler, they're just sort of here. They're just not having a great time. Go say hi to some people. Go get a go get a selfie with Judith. And Tyler, what are you doing, Tyler? He's just chilling. Go have your drink. Come on, I paid for those drinks. Ugh, they're even on the floor. I hate how how the Sims 4 interact. Like the Sims 4 Sims interact with drinks. They always just leave them. Oh, oh, things are very saucy down here. Kitty and Tyler are probably thinking, where on earth did the Oracle go? Oh. Love in strange places. Aside from the coat hangers, that was a thrilling tryst? I don't even know what that word is. Tryst. Warmed by a kiss. Oh, these two. I think they've both missed each other deeply. Neither of them liked being apart. Like, I, I don't imagine she's been in this form for long. Probably a couple days. Um, But they've, they've not talked. They've not spoken. Obviously, I mean, she literally changed in front of him, so it was a bit like, ooh, a bit scared off. But now, I think he's into it. Uh, kiss his hands. Can we get a good angle on this? Can we get these walls down or something? Oh. Go on, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? <sighs> these two. Oh. Um, exchange. I mean, you already have each other's numbers, surely. Oh, he said glad we got the time spent. Oh, he, he's, he was glad they did this. Meanwhile, Kitty and Tyler aren't having a good time. I guess they're not the club in sorts. Um, where's Tyler? Where is he? Is he just at the bar alone? Why don't you guys have a nice moment together? You guys are cute. You guys are a couple. Why don't you um, embrace her? Find like a nice quiet spot. Look, you can you can both sit down here maybe. Oh, he needs to pee very badly. Actually, don't be the one who pees yourself in the club. I've, I've, I've seen it happen to someone before. It was so embarrassing. There must be some bathrooms. Um, there's, one, there's some upstairs, right? Yes. Um, maybe it's time we head home. I think Akira's gone. Kitty and Tyler aren't loving it. We've introduced ourselves to some people. Go say hi to Diego. Just sort of like... Network, Oracle. You've got to network. If you want to have some sick parties, you've got to know some good people, right? Um, go introduce yourself to this DJ. You never know. We could hire him. Naoki Watanabe. It's just network. Not the knife guy. Not the knife guy. No, no, no. Anyone but the knife guy. Uh, Kitty's just sat on her own. She's uncomfortable. She needs to pee as well. Okay, if you want to pee as well, Kitty, you can go pee. Which one's the girls? Oh. Um. The girls are this one. Still not on the gender neutral toilets, I see, Sims 4. Get on it. Um. Oh, show off. You absolute show off. Also, this is like transparent floor. I would hate that. Like, this is their VIP lounge down here, and people can see into it. The peasants can see into it. No. Um. You networking, Oracle. With your bad dance moves. We've got to get her dance skill up. She's got to be like a boss dancer. Okay, I think she said hi to just about everyone. Except for like the celebrities. Go say hi to Dominic. you got to say hi to everyone. Um, also, the frame rate is dying. I should end this part, I think. We've been going for a while. I don't know. Maybe a couple more minutes. We'll end the night out. Oh, some more people are arriving, actually. Who are you? I Aicha... El Majbro. I'm not gonna. Oh, I, I don't even want to butcher that, to be honest. Aicha? Aicha? Aicha. She's a fan. Okay. And. Oh, Lilith Vator. She's cool. Go say hi to her. Alright, I know you've got to go home, but just say hi to Lilith and then we can leave, okay? Introduce yourself to Lilith. Where's Lilith? Where'd she go? Am I blind? Where did Lilith go? Oh, Akira is still here. Um. Maybe we'll take him back to ours. Show him the new TARDIS. Um, who are you? Oh, that's Tyler. Oh, he's napping. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if actually Kitty and Tyler have a university tomorrow. Um, I didn't even check. Yeah, she has work in six hours. He has work in five hours, so they do have class. This is a very bad influence oracle, I feel. This is a very, like, oh, you don't even need to do your, your research paper. Come out with me, you know. Um, not the... The best influence on them, or the the academia. Uh, 
Actually, that's fine. I'm a sh Ooh, This is not good. Do I have to miss class, probably, or just go really hungover and really tired? I should have checked. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's the life of a student, I guess. It'll bring Akira back home with us. Um, okay, so we've introduced ourselves to, like, a wide range of people. That's fine. It's all about networking. We still have time to meet new people, to throw a sick party. Um, they can't be op open invitation, I don't think. I feel like you could in The Sims 3. And that's why I'm forgetting. No, you couldn't have open invitation in The Sims 3. Can you do it in The Sims 4? I could have sworn you... I could have sworn at some point you could have done an open invitation party. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Or I might be. Either way, we'll end this episode soon. We've been going for a while. It's about time. Um... Why don't we end this with a bang, literally, uh, and grace the Oracle's new bed. And maybe in Kitty and Tyler's new bed as well. I mean, they're both a little bit tipsy. Um, you woohoo with Akira. Yeah, can he get in there is the question. We'll test out this brand new door. Oh, have they got to manually go in? If so, that's going to be so annoying. Yeah, do they have to manually do this each time? Because we tried to have... Um, Tyler Walk Comet. No? Oh no, our own door is not... <laughs> We're locked out of our own TARDIS. Okay, maybe maybe the thick heavy duty doors is not the way to go. See, I wanted to go for one of the get to work doors, but the door frames on them are white. Like, they're a bright white, and they just look so out of place. Like, where's the, um... This one here. The door frame on it was white and I didn't like it. If so, we'll stick with the old doors for now, maybe. Which doors did we have before? We had, um, you? No. You? No. Which doors did we have? Hmm, wasn't you. How bad is my memory? What doors did we have? What doors did we have? I've already... We didn't have the, 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 no, we didn't have these ones, the vintage glamour ones. What? See, none of these are black. Oh, it was you! No. Your wood. What? We didn't have blue doors, did we? We did not have blue doors, no. What door? <laughs> I already forgotten what doors we had. Can we colour filter the doors? This is a disaster. What doors did we have? It was not. No way was it the the vintage glamour ones. But they're the only black ones that are here. Fine, no, we're going to stick with these for now. It probably was these. These are the only black doors that I could think of that, like, we could use. So we're going to stick with these. Back to the actual episode at hand and not finding which doors we should go on our TARDIS. Um, woohoo with Akira down there, please. And you, what is happening? Oh, don't pee yourself. Don't pee yourself. Oh, she's going to pee herself. She's she's going to pee herself. Okay, you know what? Pee and then woohoo with Akira, okay? Priorities, Oracle. No, pee first. Oh, God. Tyler and Kitty, you guys have peed. Can they even get... I don't even know if we can get to that side of the bed. We'll give it a go. Is my TARDIS playable? I should have play tested it. Because it seems so far the door didn't work. Watch the beds not work. Go on, Oracle. You're nearly there. We've got to end this episode. Oh, God. This has been a mess. It's six in the morning. Six in the morning. How is Nebula and Comet doing? We haven't seen them, like, all episode. They're doing fine. We've seen them in the background. Oh, food bowl. Um, oh, God. Comet is hungry. We can't have... Oh, please don't run away, Comet. Um, these guys... They're all... All the humans are busy, though. Getting... Okay, they can use the bed. That's good. Uh, yeah, okay. They're getting hot and steamy. These guys hopefully about to get hot and steamy. She's washing her hands. Good hygiene. Um, where did Akira go? Gotta go all the way to Akira. Right, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you've enjoyed today's episode of the Time Lord Challenge Season 3... Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Twitter link down below. No Nebula, don't. You don't want to be in here. We're going to do some um, adult human things. So just don't, don't, technically human time lord things. But you know, anyway, uh, Twitter link down below. Feel free to follow it or not. It's up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
so 